Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new trailer for The Flash. It's just called The Flash, I thought it was going to be called Flashpoint, unless that's what the internal production name or something for it was. It was dropped last night during the Super Bowl, we're getting back to the world of big trailers and big things are dropping on the Super Bowl day. Uh, we have this and we have Guardians to look at next. Um, I've not seen anything of The Flash yet, um, it's kind of one of those that my excitement would have been there if that old world would have been there but since we knew that some characters are coming and going especially recently with the takeover with james gunn and how he's going to be moving stuff forward with dc doing essentially what he likes rather than what potentially should be good for the audience it's all his favorite thing my favorite character is what i want to do it kind of it's kind of made me think like do i really care about seeing shazam Aquaman 2 or The Flash, those two, definitely not that bothered. The Flash always intrigued me because it's the Flashpoint thing and it were always going to be a soft reboot of the old DCEU world, uh, but now it's going to be like a complete almost reset. We do have different Batmans in this world, we do have different characters in this. I think we've got Supergirl in this. I'm trying to remember what was going to be in the Batgirl film that got cancelled and what's in this. I think she was supposed to be in that as well. We do have Michael Keaton back. We have, we, well, we, I don't know anymore. We were supposed to have Ben Affleck back. I don't know. I heard we were even supposed to have Adam West turn up. So who knows? Who knows? We'll go through this trailer once. If there's anything interesting to go back and look at afterwards, we'll do that. But let's have a go. There's a flash. I don't know. You can go anywhere. Her neck looks long. Another timeline. Sounds like. Keaton. Another universe. Ooh, that bike. I haven't seen that for a while. Fight to save this one. Because this is the world where my mom lives. I'm not gonna lose her again. We have a Scooby Doo show. Oh, was his dad being recast? It was um Billy Time has a um, I remember his name. From Watchmen. That it can't help reliving. The kid's got his uh, weird run as well. Different people different worlds drawn to each other like magnets ah we have two flashes and uh, they're going for the power rangers theme where one's wearing red one yellow so is the other barry gonna be a reverse flash got ben's mansion bruce i could fix things i could also ben yeah Sod? I completely broke the universe. Sod, we've been waiting for you. I Is that new footage? No metahumans. And now there's no one to defend us. Ah, uh, yeah. Car. Want some help? Ooh, it's the 89 Batmobile. The Danny Elfman scar. There he is. You are. Yeah. I'm Batman. That cowl's not fitting very well, is it? Very spry. A bad bike. It's that Ben's Batman. If I can't undo what I did. Look like a bulky suit. If I can't get back. There might not be a future. Ooh. What's the play? Batman, what do we do? We try not to die. Angry girl. Angry girl with short hairs here. It's not Quark. No, unfortunately not. I I'm well, we're Barry. Got an angry little emo girl. The Flash. That wing, eh? Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are gonna want to see this. Kids are gonna want to see Supergirl. June sixteenth. Not too far away. So is this gonna be the only trailer we're getting? Maybe. Hmm. Intriguing. Like I said at the beginning. Mostly for the Batman. So we have Ben. We have Michael. It looked like. We'll go through it. We'll go through it at one point. It looked like we got a, a new suit for Ben Affleck's Batman. 
a grey and blue suit, which we've never actually seen Batman wear. Like that for me, the grey and uh, the grey and blue suit was like my era of comics when I were a kid. That's intriguing. So we'll go through it, and break it down a bit more. So we've got blood here. I can't. It looked rubbery, but they all do. Oh wait, okay. So this is probably Michael Keaton's just from the bat signal here. You can you see it better if you, if you watch it yourself. Um, here, so we've got the round Michael part. Keaton, but just from the first shot, it, I thought it was Ben's because of the kind of small ears and sort of frown. We got bat bike, short. Oh, maybe Ben's got short ears. Yeah, short ears, but bulkier head. But we haven't seen. We didn't see Ben's Batman on a bike like this. Is this Glasgow again? Those are British signs. Is this Glasgow again? So why do you want to stay and fight to save this one? I'm wondering timeline wise. Like does he break the world in in the original DCU time where there's no super people? So yeah, he goes he goes somewhere else and that's where he finds the world of his mum with Michael Keaton and Kara who's been trapped away. So is that how they're going to write Henry away? Because Henry looks like he should be there with the Zod stuff. Which I'm wondering, like, is that new with Michael Shannon? Or is that old footage that never got you? Ooh. It's intriguing. Don't care about that stuff. Yeah, his dad got recast. It was it was the guy from Watchmen. Don't care about this. Don't care about it. Like, I don't care about the Flash stuff. <laughs> I'm here for the Batman stuff. I think if I'm going to go watch the film, I'm there for the Batman stuff. To each other with. Okay. Yeah, so we've got... it's it To differentiate both of them, one's got shorter hair, one's got longer hair. But it's going to be like Power Rangers, where, you know, is he going to turn out to be the bad Flash? His, his counterpoint? So we've got the Flash, and then by the end, do we have his evil version of himself is Reverse Flash, which was the yellow? Um, I can't remember how they did it in the TV show. So he's going to have the red accents. He's going to always have something with yellow on. Tell by the hair. And the ring thing is intriguing. We haven't seen that before. My face. You stole my face. If you... Yeah. So we never really got to see much of this, this Wayne Manor properly. It would have been nice to see a, a flashback when it wasn't a shithole. Were to go into the past. You have no idea. We're getting kind of that Hans Zimmery sound. If that cool, atmospheric past, Zimmer sound. I, no idea what the consequences can be. Bruce. I do like that. I don't know whose technology that is. Because Barry's technology didn't, when he was building his suits, look more homemade tech rather than this. Bruce, I could fix things. You could also destroy everything. This can't be happening. Hmm. I completely broke the universe. They always keep going back to this Zod fight, even though everyone keeps moaning about the hate, the hate it all. I liked it because it was almost like the uh, a proper Dragon Ball anime fight. People going through buildings and massive power waves and stuff. Like I enjoyed it. I don't hide the fact that I enjoyed what Zack did with the DC world. Like I'm a fan of it. Not one of those crazy online fans. I just like it. Like the aesthetics, the tone. I kind of like his suit. It kind of reminds me of the 90s one. And I, it must be a muscle suit because I don't think this guy is bulky in any way. No That's, uh, I think, is this Kara's suit? I don't think it's Henry's suit. It's definitely the same S. But I don't remember some of these accents. And that's her there. We don't care about her. And now there's no one I hope she's been erased from the DCU as well. Want some help? Don't care about an angry little emo girl who's definitely going to have issues. And definitely going to hate men. It'd be nice if we saw this properly lit up with like a giant playing card, a big coin, a dinosaur somewhere. I don't like the music swapping and changing. So are we going to, is it going to feel like that watching the film? That it feels a bit more Elfman-like in this world, and when it's in the other world, it's going to feel a bit more Zimmery. You're... 
he looks like he's had Bell's palsy. Like he's got a one eye that's not quite here. His mouth looks a bit bunched up, and when he talks, it doesn't look like it sort of fits very well. You are. Yeah. It's like coming off one side of his mouth. Yeah, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Unless he has had something wrong with him, he is he's knocking on. But he moves very well. In this poorly edited, just slap, 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 slap. But like, I hate, I hate timing things with gun blasts are like impactful. I'm hoping it's not like that in the film when we get to see this clearly and fluidly. Like, we get it. But he does look super fluid. We've never really saw him move like that before in his films. Probably because at the time the CGI wasn't good enough to replicate stuff like this and the suit was probably restrictive as hell. Well, it, it, it was. He couldn't turn his head. So, this bike. So, we're back in... I want to say our world, but it's not. It's the, the DC world with Ben Affleck's Batman on a bike. That's very reminiscent of the bike we saw in The Dark Knight. If I can't undo what I did... That's a nice clear shot, Keaton's suit. I like it. It's very reminiscent of what we saw for uh, Batman and uh, uh, Batman Returns. I like it. It's just extra little details here and there. Still very rubbery. Nice yellow and black Batman icon. I dig it. Dig it. If I can't get back. Is that his homemade suit? I can't tell if the Elseworld, Otherworld Flash has got a different suit to what Barry had in uh, Justice League because this this new suit he's got I don't know where he gets it from I don't know if uh, Ben Affleck's Batman made it for him I was just wondering if it was going to be uh, they'll probably tease that right at the end the reverse flash kind of thing even though Ezra's probably gone dead gone replaced this yeah that looks blue to me don't know about you guys that's definitely blue. That's grey. It's similar to his tactical suit from Justice League, but like a more of a lightweight version. Like he looks a lot slimmer, like less bulky. I dig it. I dig it. God, why, why the fuck is he not coming back? He's going to be the biggest injustice in the world, not being able to have more Ben Affleck's Batman and Henry Cavill's Superman with what, whatever happens next. I'll always be looking back at like what could have been with this. This looks cool. I'm glad we're finally getting this colourway. That means more toys. Gold accent there. What's the play? Batman, what do we do? We try not to die. Who cares about this stuff? Yeah. I, honestly, I, I don't. I don't care at all about this version of Supergirl. It's not Supergirl. It's a made-up version to insert someone else who's just going to be an angry little female. And I don't care about characters like that. Uh, I'm intrigued about the Superman side. I'm intrigued of the how it's if it's going to be bouncing back and forth between the worlds. Like, does he try to do something in one world, go back? Is this all okay? Right, go back. No, this isn't. And try to flip between, or is it going to be a third of the movie is somewhere, a third of the movie is somewhere else, and then it culminates all in one place with all of it coming together? Like, are we going to see? The multiple Batmans interacting like we've got the multiple flashes. That could be cool. I don't know if there's any other justice people around. I don't know if we're going to be getting like a random Green Arrow or an Elseworlds Aquaman where he looks more like, you know, the comic version. I don't know if we're going to get in any of that. I'm intrigued, but I'm not intrigued for the reason I should be, which is the Flash. I'm intrigued for the, for the Batman saga side of it. Like, if they did a spin-off where it was all of them coming together, like it'd have been cool to see a Thomas Wayne, like the where he took over and he's not quite much of a good guy as, as the normal Batman is. That'd have been fun, but hmm, I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. Hmm, it's one of those that I'd I'll, I'd watch it if it were on streaming in my own time because I could just flick through and be like, I, I don't care for this. I just want to see the Batman scenes. But going to the cinemas. I don't know. I've not been for a long time. I think the last film I went to see was Top Gun. 
yeah, Top Gun Maverick well, last time I went to the cinema, so I might go for this. You know, I was quite intrigued with Shazam, but since that's getting shuffled off and doesn't really mean anything, this one kind of does because it's, you know, we've got Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck back. That's what's drawing me towards this. Similar like to the last Spider-Man films, didn't really care much for the Tom Tom Holland Spider-Man. You bring Peter back, uh, you bring uh, Toby and Andrew back. I'm like, I'm there. I'm there for them. Not for Zendaya, not for Tom Holland, not for that fat kid. I'm there for them. That's why I'm probably going to go for The Flash. So let me know your thoughts below. If you guys know more of the story detail of his time travels and uh, the Zod stuff, feel free to spoil it below for me. I, I'm not I'm not bothered. I'm not going to need to not know the spoilers on the day when I go see it. Like, it's fine. Spoil away in the comments. So let me know your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Do all the algorithm stuff. Share links in the descriptions, ways to follow me and support the channel. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye.